Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week we will be talking about the Sega System 18 core, updates on some consoleized Mr. FPGAs, the 24-bit analog I.O. board, and more. Also, check out my channel sponsor Mr. Add-ons, a place where you can get all your Mr. needs. Things like full Mr. setups, I.O. boards, accessories, and more. Now let's get to the news. Sega's arcade game Alien Storm has been added to the Beta System 18 core. This is thanks to the Genesis VDP chip being implemented into the core. In addition to an arcade exclusive graphics chip on the Sega System 18 board, it also included the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive VDP chip. Alien Storm made use of this chip, so it's required for an accurate implementation of the game. The VDP was also used in Shadow Dancer, but it wasn't used for any graphics. If you want to read up more on the Sega System 18 arcade hardware, Otego's Patreon post has more detailed information on it. With the release of Alien Storm, Mr. Addons also released controller mappings for Mr. Cade users. Also, Hotego is working on improving the horizontal stretch feature for CRT output, which is helpful for monitors without overscan support. Hotego has also been able to get Michael Jackson's Moonwalker working. There are a lot of issues, including problems with the music, so it's not ready for release, but it is good to see progress being made. Remember that the Sega System 18 core is still in beta and only available to Patreon subscribers. Once the core is stable, it will be released to everyone for free. The next game in the Mr. FPGA game challenge is GigaWing on the Capcom CPS2 arcade hardware. It's a single credit score challenge and goes until June 6. Submit your scores to the Mr. FPGA Discord game challenge channel. Todd from Retrofrog is back with a new Mr. FPGA case design. This case design looks like a way to make your Mr. FPGA setup feel like a console. It's still under development, but Todd eventually releases his Mr. FPGA 3D files for free. But if you subscribe to his Patreon, you usually get early access to the 3D files. For the in-development Mr. Handheld, it has been decided to move to an OLED screen. It was also revealed that this new screen is better suited for a variety of aspect ratios, which will be great when playing different consoles. Moving to this new screen, the handheld is expected to be $150 or less if there is enough interest. It's crazy to think that there will be little interest in this handheld, so head over to the post to show support for it. Another post showed the handheld screen in action, playing the intro to Zelda's Link Awakening for the Game Boy Color. On Friday, Taki posted an image that shows some of the ports and knobs that his Mr. Compatible flagship console will include. The really interesting parts are the HDMI in and VGA in ports. There is a lot of speculation, but an interesting theory is that the device might have built-in upscaling capabilities. That would be a pretty cool feature for people wanting to upscale other consoles. Another interesting aspect is that the device will have what looks like a brightness control. Will this have to do with a built-in screen, or will this control the brightness of devices connected through HDMI? These are very interesting developments, but we still have to wait to get the full capabilities of this device. It is also said that this flagship device will cost less than the DE10 Nano itself. Taki is also developing a DE10 Nano clone, and it looks like manufacturing started as Taki received 2,000 blank PCB boards. Surface mounting chips should have also started over the weekend. And the retro gaming website Time Extension has also been able to get in touch with Taki and ask a few questions about his upcoming Mr. products. So head over to the website to see what he has to say. The Tap2 Life app that allows you to tap NFC tags to your phone and launch games on your Mr. FPGA now has the ability to scan barcodes. This means that you can take an original game box and scan it with your phone and launch the game associated with the barcode. You are also not limited to scanning game boxes, as Wizzo shows off scanning a box of Pokemon cards. Mr. Addons has released his Analog I.O. Pro boards. These builds feature 24-bit analog video, integrated YC Active support. This means that it integrates composite and S-video connections. And there's USB-C power in with a soft power switch. The I.O. board is available by itself and also as part of full Mr. Builds. Mr. Addons also developed some shock protective bumpers for his cases. There are silicone sleeves that keep your aluminum case firmly in place and protected. 
There were updates to the Sega Saturn core that affected the following games. There were VDP-1 fixes that affected Grandia, Mortal Kombat 2, and Tempest 2000, VDP-2 fixes that affected X-Men vs. Street Fighter, and Saturn Bomberman. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure to also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in block form and to get more retro related content. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.